you know, that's the goal, right? Evolution, change. You've got to be willing to adapt, man. Yes. Learn new information, take it in, shift, change, morph, become something better. Suddenly getting a bit heavy, isn't it? <laughs> Go back to being funny, you little purple bastard! What's the best business or career advice you've ever received from anybody on the circuit? What's your vision? I was in a, an Uber <laughs> in Liverpool and I was trying to figure out what to do next with my life and it happened that the Uber driver was like a business coach. He used to, he like would go and mentor entire businesses to change their thing and he retired and I was in the car for six minutes. The first thing he said, what do you do? And I said, oh, I do comedy, I travel around. He goes, what's your vision? And I went, oh, I don't know, I'm just doing comedy. And he goes, mate, if I was going to work with you and you came in and you didn't have a vision, we would wait until you had a vision before we started working with you. So he said, what's your vision, man? And I went, oh, crap. And by the end of the, um, the ride, we'd figured out my vision. And, uh, and now I have a vision and I'm doing it. And what is your vision? To work with you, Zane. What were the questions, pointed questions that he said to guide you to your vision? Uh, well, it's all about Ikigai. Do you know about the concept of Ikigai? Those are the books I didn't buy the other day. You didn't buy the Ikigai book. No. He's concerned, like, what could you do that could have a positive effect, but also fulfill you and also bring in enough money to sustain you? Because unfortunately, we live in a society in which one needs some cash in order to do the things. Zane. That's pretty profound. It's not really. No, well, it kind of is. A lot of people don't do that. Do what? Do things that fulfill them in order to make money. The ikigai, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a Japanese concept. The reason that I read about that was because there was, they did, I was reading about um, centurions, people who, who live over the age of 100, and so they went and studied what it is that makes those people um, live for a long period of time. It's all about ikigai. Oh, man. I know it's crazy, man. I'm reading a book on a little screen. I bet you want to read a book on a little screen. No! It's how robots read books. <laughs> I'll stick with my crisp, bound, papery paperback with its amazing paperback smell. Thank you. Do you read personal development books? Yeah, I just read Lost Connections oh. um, uh, by Johan Hari. It's all about um, treating anxiety and depression with, with uh, all the root causes of anxiety and depression and looking at how to treat them in a non-medicated fashion. It's and a really great book. I can't, I changed my life. It's all about reconnecting to various things like reconnection to childhood trauma, reconnection to community, and talks about the disconnect that happens when you spend all of your time, you know, on the internet. And can you effectively apply that just by reading from a book? No, that's very true. It's the same as anything. It's like, um, it's like just because you read a book about how to play the piano it doesn't mean you can play the piano. Exactly. It's the same as anything. If you, if you absorb information and, you, and it connects with you, you definitely have to then apply it and practice it um, in order to uh, evolve, change, move, become something greater than the sum of your own parts. We need to lay off hoarders, by the way. I think there's one too many television programs exposing the horrors of people that like collecting shit. It's their house, let them do what they want. No, we have to fix them. No, you don't. People are fucked up. If they want to climb over a stack of Woman's Day magazines from the 1970s to get to the kettle, fucking let them. No, have you, you gone on a hike? No, I don't like that. Why? Bad hips. Walk in the nature. No, you can do that on an <sighs> even keel. You know you don't what, man? You need to do I, it in incline. I, yeah, but see, that's the difference. Because if I'm, I'm sitting in planes all the time and in cars and traveling all the time, like yeah. if I get to a place and I get to get out, stretch my legs, walk for a day, oh my God, I feel it's like a natural high. When I was in um, Oregon, mm. I drove to Astoria, which is where they filmed The Goonies mm -hmm. and Short Circuit and Free Willy. And kindergarten cop? Oh my god! It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. Um, so I went there, and then I was there for a bit, and then I drove down the coast to this place called like Sandy Bay or Sandy Beach or something like that. Yeah. And there was like this old growth hemlock pine forest, yes. and I walked through it, and I was just got this huge rush of, and it was like all misty and foggy, and then I made it to this secluded cove where there was like a waterfall that went into the ocean, and it was because I went on a hike, Zane. It's like shelving nine pills at once. It's fucking sick. <laughs> Do it, man! Go for a hike, Zane! I think you'll need to. You <sighs> schooled me. And you know what? I didn't even need to Google how long a manifesto is, because you just gave me one. I just did it. Thank you. 
goodbye. Oh, we're not done? <laughs> no, we're done. Oh, great. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Felt like a natural conclusion. <laughs>